What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel and checking out another review. Tonight's review uh, is going to be another one of them gear reviews, uh, EDC to be exact. For those of you gun lovers, uh, CCW holders, uh, this video is going to be for you guys. Stay tuned. This is the beginning of meditation. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel, uh, checking out another review. Uh, hope you guys are having a great night. Hope you're enjoying these reviews. Before we get into any of the review, if you're cruising by and you just happen to click on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Again, hit that subscribe button if you want. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell for future uploads. Whew. Tonight's video uh, is going to be a company out of North Carolina called Applied Gear. Uh, what Applied Gear does is they make EDC uh, carry belts. Uh, <clears throat> what they have sent me uh, is a hybrid EDC belt and a double duty EDC uh, carry belt. Very nice belts. Um, these are actually the buckle style. Uh, these are the ones I actually uh, prefer over uh, any other type of EDC belt. Uh, not that I don't like the ratchet type belts. I, I, I like those uh, for normal, you know, pants wear. Uh, but these have what they call a uh, cobra buckle. And what that means is it's like a cobra, you know, it bites you and it latches on. And it, if you, the more you pull off, the more it's not going to let go. Uh, they sent me a 1.75 inch uh, double duty and a 1.5 inch uh, hybrid. Uh, they actually have plastic molded in between uh, the material for the for better stiffness if you carry uh, and you carry without uh, a gun belt you'll know that the belts are real flimsy and when you go to draw your your pants are just gonna you know go up and down and it's, it's not gonna carry a holster very well at all uh, these are actually considered the strongest load-bearing buckles on the market uh, so again another good thing for an EDC belt because I know I wouldn't uh, Lord forbid if I ever have to draw my gun, I would not want that thing to come unbuckled. And like I said, it's like a cobra. You know, that cobra grabs you. The more you pull, the more that thing is going to clinch down on you and not let go. So that's what I would want. Uh, these buckles are rated, I think I read, over 2,400 pound force. So that's, that's, a, that's, that's a pretty good chunk uh, you're pulling on there. Um, I'm wearing the hybrid. I'll go over that one second. Uh, the first one I'll go over is, is the double duty, the 1.75 one. one. Uh, and as you can see, uh, like I was telling you, this has got the Cobra buckle on it. And with that, I mean, you can see it moves around, but the more you pull on that, the more it's, it's not going to want to let go. And to release that, all you got to do is push those in and, that, and it releases it. And that's what... Uh, a cobra buckle looks like uh, i think they also call them i got it right down here austri <clears throat> austri Alp, alpin austri alpin something like that but if you can hear the audible click that isn't coming undone for nothing this is 1.75 uh, nylon webbing uh, and that's always awesome to see is the u.s flag of course uh, they have small, medium, large, uh, and extra large uh, for their sizes, and they have like a little chart on their website. You can uh, get touch of the pant size and whatnot. Uh, these are sewn also uh, with uh, three cord parachute thread. So the thread threading that's in here is basically uh, what's on a parachute, and obviously that's going to be some pretty tough thread. Uh, and how this system works is obviously when you go to put it on you're obviously not going to be able to put those through your belt loops so you take the velcro side you take that around like that and all you got to do is just work that through like that i'm not going to undo it all the way of course uh, just take that off and then run it through your loops on your belt uh, get it cinched down you got that extra 
extra hold with the uh, Velcro. And then, you know, you put your, your firearm holster on this, of course. And then once you click that, that thing ain't coming done until you release those right there. I'll try to get a close up for you guys. You can see how that works. Come on, focus. But anyway, you guys get the gist of it. Uh, I've worn these holstered uh, probably a week a piece, I want to say. Um, I like the, the double duty belt because it's, it's not as firm as the hybrid. I mean, you can see it's pretty firm. It ain't, uh, it just don't, you know, drop down like that. Uh, and like I said, I'm wearing the hybrid. I'll show you that in a minute. And that was the double duty belt. Uh, <clears throat> the size chart, I'll tell you the, the size chart real quick. Uh, the small is a 28 to 30 inch uh, waist. The medium is a 32 to 34 inch waist. Uh, the large is a 36 to 38, and the extra large is a 40 to 42 inch. I went with the large, I think I wear somewhere between a 34 and a 35, uh, so it fits me just right. Uh, and that was the double duty uh, EDC belt. Very nicely made, very well made, I should say. Uh, in the hybrid, um, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. And I, I have mine set up a little bit different. I have mine that the buckle's on the side of me because I appendix carry. Uh, and that's right above, you know, you know, the family jewels, of course. But one thing I want to uh, add, uh, I am, I do have my, my firearm on me. But since I have uh, uh, extension on my mag, I don't have it in. This, this sticks out uh, on this particular holster because of this. So I don't usually wear that one. So a normal one would obviously come to the back of um, my right, your left, right here, just come straight across like right down here. So I'm gonna get my camera all situated. I'll be right back. What's up guys? Okay guys, <clears throat> this is what the hybrid looks like. And you can tell it's it's much thinner than the the um, the double duty. And I'll go ahead and make a comparison. As you can see, it's not much of a difference, but it is a lot thinner. And what I meant uh, <clears throat> when I have this on, it um, it prints. As you can see, there's a pretty pretty good uh, point sticking out there. That's why I don't wear that uh, clip in there. But you can see it, uh, it does the job fine and my clip, my buckle's right here because if I had my buckle right here, it obviously wouldn't go around the clips, the C-clips. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and take it off and show you guys what it looks like. I'll be right back. Welcome back again, guys. Sorry about that. I went ahead and left the piece of the buckle off, a piece of the Cobra buckle to kind of give you guys an idea how to put this back on. Uh, as you can see, you have the open end right there. And actually, while I got this off, I'll show you guys the difference in the width. Uh, and as you can see, it's not, it's not much different. I'll go ahead and put it up next to it for you. Not very much difference at all. But, uh, like I said, as you guys can see, you, know, you can't put that in there. So what you do is what I usually do is when I take my belt off, there's what the clip looks like. You can, you can maybe think of that's the Cobra's teeth right there. And as you can see on that side, it's got a little opening. And what you do is you match that up to the opening. And you can actually see this work. You guys caught that. Boom. And then how you get it back connected, you undo the Velcro and you would put it on the bottom of that. Oop, get my ugly face out of there. You put it on the bottom of the buckle, run it all the way through, 
well not all the way through but about to there that way you can get your buckle back through or your get your material back through the loop and then just pull it and there you go and that's like that and you can you see you got adjustment there and like I said this one this one definitely is stiff a lot stiffer uh, than the than the uh, double duty one I'll show you a little side comparison as you can see the the double duty is kind of you know hanging down while the hybrid is pretty much stiff but uh, <clears throat> overall quality of the belts the feel the comfort level uh, I'd say on a scale of one to five five being the most comfortable I would say about a four and a half uh, reason being four and a half because when you buy these new they're gonna be a little bit stiff as you can see how that's kind of cocked up as you use it and it gets older as the days go it's gonna break itself in and eventually it's gonna wear down to that other than that I would I would give it a five uh, they're awesome EDC belts um, <clears throat> I would definitely recommend them uh, to somebody with the CCW, uh, if they're new to, to carrying, to pick one up, uh, they're they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, the hybrid is fifty five dollars and some some change. Um, let me look real quick. And the double duty, the double duty is sixty three and some change. Uh, and the shipping, uh, it's usually it's it's calculated at checkout. So roughly about seventy bucks uh, for an EDC belt. 70, 70 bucks, a little bit under. Getting a uh, quality product made in the USA. Uh, and if you want, if you want to return it, if you're unhappy with it, I think their their period is 30 day, a 30 day period, grace period. Uh, you can use the belt if you don't like it. You can return it. Uh, the refund requirements: um, the product must be defective, uh, be in original packaging. Uh, it must be unused. Um, it must not be damaged. Um, <clears throat> just overall good quality product uh, for the for that person that's got the CCW. Uh, like I said, I wore each of them for a week. Very comfortable uh, until you know that break-in period, to where that's gonna you know kind of level itself out and you know be rounded. Uh, that's that's the only con that I have for them. One thing I did want to mention: um, <clears throat> I had purchased uh, one of these types of belts before. Uh, that they claimed was uh, a nylon belt, you know, the super strength that if you hold it out, it, would, it wouldn't flop down. Um, a little comparison. Um, here is the hybrid from Applied Gear. Here is the cheap one. What do you guys think? Don't buy cheap. EDC belts. I learned the, the hard way. This belt compared to the applied gear ones is absolute garbage. I mean it still has the Cobra buckle but it's just janky. It, it just half the time it, it doesn't buckle. I mean it's just it's really really I mean it's, it's and this thing is just I mean look at that guy compared to the other ones I mean if you had to draw a gun from this you wouldn't be able to because this thing would be pulling everywhere don't buy generic EDC belts Whew. the good ones the good ones applied gear links will be in the description uh, I carry a shield uh, 40 cal I carry a defender one holster uh, it's appendix carry, so it's got a little bit of a bevel to it. Uh, overall quality, like I said, it's a good belt, good EDC belt. Uh, <clears throat> I would probably actually wear it normally, like a like a normal belt too, because uh, it's, it's pretty comfortable. It is pretty comfortable. Uh, but other than that, uh, thanks to the guys at uh, Applied Gear uh, for sending me a couple out to review. Uh, thank you guys uh, for sticking around for another product review. Until the next video, guys, peace.